What's up, Angel City? It's your girl, Panda, here, and I am again here joined by my favorite co-host, Nina. We are uh, still hey. at House of Football today doing a really, really, really fun interview today. Would you like to let everybody know what is happening on today's show? Oh, my God. If you're on YouTube, you already know who we are sitting here with. We are sitting with the core, the center, the heart of Angel City. We are here with Clarice Levion. Hello. <laughs> Thank Hi you guys. so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you on. We know that this is a incredibly busy time for you. We are very excited. I'm sure you're feeling lots of emotions as well right now, but we wanted to take a second to kind of get to know you and for everyone in the fan base to get to know you as we approach what are the final two matches of the regular season here for Angel City in their inaugural season. So Clarice, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling really great. Like, I really can't wait to be tomorrow. Oh, you, you and me both, we are so excited for tomorrow. Tonight's <laughs> going to be kind of a sleepless night for a lot of people, I think. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, let's just dive right into this. We're just going to start from the beginning and kind of just get to know you. And then we'll kind of build up until uh, tomorrow's events that are going to be happening. But first, You've been playing uh, professional football for 13 years. Can you tell us just a little <laughs> bit about your journey and uh, how it kind of brought you to where you are today? Um, then I start really like when I was really young, um, where, where I'm from, like in Brittany, in France. So I start almost at 15 years old uh, to be like with the adult like, team. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, I think on the... 2012, like my first season, so it's been a while. Oh, no, more. Like 2008, I think, yeah, really old. And then, yeah, I do. I did my whole career, like, in France. So I played seven years uh, where I live, so in my region. And then I moved uh, to south of France, in Montpellier, for five years. And then I just came here uh, since May. Very exciting. So we know growing up, there weren't a lot of opportunities in your life for females to actually play soccer. So how does it feel now being part of a league that really celebrates and elevates women? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. Can you repeat? Yeah. Um, how is it different um, being treated as a woman in France playing soccer versus here in the United States? Mm, I think like in France, it's starting to be better, but still, like, we need to fight a lot, like, to get good condition, to get, like, good salary and to get equity between all of the team. So it's not uh, the best professionalist for the, for the moment. And, yeah, like, when I, when I came here in Angel City, like, I felt like I had a men professional in France. So it's changed me a lot. And that's really great because you only have to be focused on your performance. And this is the best I think when you are an athlete yeah I read somewhere where growing up you played football but it was mainly with guys there was really not a whole lot of women playing when you were growing up so tell us a little bit about how that does feel being surrounded by women playing this sport right now and not having to play with men yeah, like in France, you can still play with guy until 12 years old. And I really enjoyed this. Uh, this was almost my best memory since I play football, like playing with my friends and just feel from part of the team. And of course, it's so different, like playing with girls, but it's getting so professional, more professional, more competitive right now. So it's something just different you can really compare. Amazing. Yeah, I was going to ask, do you have a favorite football memory? Uh, I think like when I was with the national team, like in under 19, like we won the European championship and my parents were, were, were on the, the stand. So this is maybe one of my best feelings. Amazing. Yeah, I can imagine <laughs> what that felt like. I'm sure that was. Uh, yeah, that had I was so amazing. emotional, like, like <laughs> looking at them and I trying to not cry. Like, <laughs> Aww. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's for you. so cool. Yeah. Well, so you're a midfielder for Angel City. Have mm -hmm. you always played midfield or have you ever explored any other positions on mm -hmm. the pitch? 
No, to be honest, I played like every offensive like position. Uh, I started when I was young to be like more as a forward, but my favorite position is more under the um, the forward, like as a ten or you know when I can turn around and just touch a lot of balls and try to make the good passes, assist or or score. So most of my career I played like in the middle and. It's happened that I played on the side, but in a different role, like not trying to go and and cross, more like trying to combine with people around me and use my outside my outside back. Mm-hmm. But, it's yeah. interesting you say that because I feel like your touch is incredible. Like your first touch on the ball is always so smooth. You make it look so easy. So mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense that that would have been the role you were in where it's like a one time into goal sort of thing. And that transitioned really well into... Angel City, which has a very attacking midfield presence and your role within that. Um, Looking at Angel City, um, talk to us about today. How was practice? How is the feeling in the locker room right now? What are you guys feeling? Mm, I think there is really a good, good atmosphere. Like right now, it's, we are like relaxed. Like we just want to enjoy this moment all together. Like we, we fight all this season. So this is just the perfect game to express ourselves right now and it's just exciting it was a good training like small short because we we did a lot like this the last weeks so just like a small training and in a good atmosphere with a lot of smile and and then try to to be focused oh, i love that tell me a little bit about how it feels playing in front of an Angel City crowd? Because I know we have an amazing supporters group. We have an amazing attendance record in this league. What does it feel like on a home game for you when you come out and hear everybody in the stands cheering for you guys? I can't really describe like how I feel and how all we feel like so thankful. Like you come in the stadium and you have something else like another in- any more like more energy like more you want to give everything like all the time but it's it gives you like more help and and you have like I have ghost bump all the time that I come on the pitch like from the warm-ups until like the end it's just like amazing and people are just cheering for us all the time and we are so thankful and grateful for that Awesome. Do you have kind of like a best friend on the Angel City team? Is there somebody that you turn to that's kind of your person? Yeah, Miri. Mary Taylor, she she is my person. Oh, that's so cool. How did you guys connect? Uh, I think like just from the first day I was here, like just I, I can't explain. Like really, we just like see each other and we felt like we were we will be friends. And I think maybe because she's European too, like she's English, so mm-hmm. we connected really quick. And after on the pitch too, and then we are neighbors, so we just never like quit each other. <laughs> Now, somebody who's coming from France, who is obviously not the United States, I feel like L.A. is a great place for you to actually come to. It's so multicultural. There are so many different facets of of the world that come together here in L.A., as opposed to had you gone to a team kind of in, uh, you know, like in, in the Midwest where there's not a lot of cultural diversity. Can you tell me what it's been like to experience L.A. for you? Have you enjoyed it? Um, what, what are your thoughts on, on Los Angeles? Um, I really enjoy it. Like, I love the city, to be honest. Um, when I arrived, like, I felt at home really quick, uh, most at the club with the people who are working there, with the team, my teammates. Everybody was just, like, so nice. And about the city, the weather, everything, I was used to the sun because I was in the south of France, so it was maybe not that hot, but, like, I was used to the heat. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, it was just perfect, and I love the vibes of the city, the the the, the fact that there is a, a lot of um, different like culture. This is really like good. So, outside of soccer, what is your favorite thing to do? Are you a beach girl? You like to go surfing, or what's your thing? I love to explore. So, I went to every like touristic place, and I did like almost everything that I could <laughs> in the time I got. And I love downtown LA. I I can't explain. Like I love to be there. Like the atmosphere there is just peaceful. And also the beach, like Malibu, Malibu Pier. All right. It is nice. Yeah. Do you <laughs> love tacos as much as Freya does? 
<laughs> no, I like, but I don't love tacos. So, no. okay. <laughs> I know it's I know it's the best city for that. <laughs> it's the best city for a lot of different things. Absolutely. True, true. So, one of my bucket list items is to go to France. I have not visited yet. Me either. To go to do it. It. To go. I can be your guy there. Okay. That was going to be my question. So to, ah. during the pandemic, I was supposed to go there for my birthday. And unfortunately, it didn't happen because of COVID. So it's definitely in the works. Um, but I'm going to definitely hit you up for where I need to go and what I need to do. I was gonna say, but and tell everyone, what are the top three things you have to do if you go to France? Uh, about like cities to, to visit? Yeah, what whatever you, you need. Want? If we I have think. nothing on our list right now, what are the three things you say you have to do this? Mm, first of all, you have to go to Paris. And American just love Paris. I think they only know Paris from France, so you have to go there and enjoy like the city and the food there, you have to eat uh, every bakery in every in any bakery you can you can go there and discover what is a real croissant, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're speaking our love language. I love carbs. <laughs> <laughs> and then south of France, I think like uh, all the Medi Mediterranean coast. Uh, I was there, so I'm maybe not objective, but. I love the atmosphere there. Like it's uh, uh, close to Montpellier, it's close to Spain, and yeah, the vibe is so good there. And good food, like restaurant on the on the in front of the sea on the beach. So it's really good. Amazing. In the summer, yeah. So Definitely. we know eating and routine are a big part of like soccer culture, especially as you're getting ready. What does your morning routine look like going into tomorrow? What I know we're going to be out tailgating. We're going to fan fest. We're going to do all those things. What are you doing tomorrow morning? <laughs> oh, it's pretty boring. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Not to answer okay. that. No. So this is a bit special because my parents are there today. So oh! they were. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. My two parents so are there. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, usually on the game day, I just, I don't do a lot of things. Like I watch like clips about the other team, just like in front of the TV, a small walk, just lunch and nothing really special. Yeah. And I think it's super special, you know, clear your mind and just ready yourself for yeah. tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be amazing. I love that it's a home game for us because mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like perfect. you guys just get so much energy from uh, from that atmosphere. And tomorrow is going to be definitely, uh, definitely an electric atmosphere for you. And we're all just so excited for it. I think it's oh, a yes. great game. And coming off the heels of the game uh, Wednesday against the Courage, I feel like you guys are feeling on top of the world as you should <laughs> absolutely we know there's going to be a special performance of here comes the queen and we want to thank you clarice Levion, the queen of the hour the queen of this podcast for coming on gracing us with her presence we cannot wait to watch you on the pitch tomorrow we know you're going to be amazing and congratulations <laughs> on having your family in town this is a really special yeah. time and thank we're just so, very so you, have to, you have to give your best understands and show them how it's uh, the, the angel city atmosphere all right, we'll bring it on this. Uh, you bring it on the pitch, we'll bring it on the stands. And there's <laughs> no reason this is not going to be an amazing, amazing game tomorrow. So this like, is a thank, thank you so much for, for sitting down and talking to us. I know you have a lot to do and, and That's definitely need to spend time with your family and prepare for tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you, Coolerese. Thank you. Thank you thank so, you much, so much, much for coming on. Have a good day, guys. You too. Bye.